Welcome back, folks. Now, recently I took a break from World of Tanks because I already know a lot of stuff about the game. I know the strengths and weaknesses of all the vehicles. The tactics, the maps, the camping positions, the sniper spots, you know, all the stuff. So the game becomes a little bit worn out when I research almost all the tanks. So I decided to myself, let's play a little bit Armor Warfare to compensate. Learn a little bit about the modern day tanks, the ERAs, the active protection system, the thermobaric missiles, whatever. So I decided to myself, let's play a bit Armor Warfare. And after I got up to a tier 7 in that game, these two games feel rather similar. But there is one essence or one element that these two games share, which is the easy to play, easy to pick up vehicles. And these vehicles are basically OP in layman's terms. So they have good speed, good guns, but amazing armor. So vehicles like the T110E5, the Panzer II J, the IS-6, the OIs. Yeah, these vehicles are pretty OP. And if they are played well, they're just extremely dominant. So yeah, I decided to myself, what vehicle is like that in Armor Warfare? It's basically the Challenger 1. So that vehicle has extreme amounts of armor at tier 7. Has a good gun and decent mobility. So basically, yeah, it's easy mode. And there is not that many easy mode vehicles in World of Tanks. You still have to employ some tactics. You still have to know how to side scrape and all the stuff. But in Armor Warfare, it kind of feels like the sandbox for World of Tanks. So the artillery is basically pointless, doesn't do that much damage, you don't get punished that much. The weak spots, the cupolas, doesn't do full damage, so it's like a third, so that's great. The tanks are okay-ish mobility, but yeah, heavy tanks just squash, or main battle tanks just squash any other vehicles. So for example, if you have a Terminator, the M BMPT Terminator against a main battle tank, you can't even penetrate and just... He just shoots your lower plate and you're just dead. So basically, yeah, the sandbox is basically armor warfare or the other way around. And <laughs> is it is it that much fun? I don't really think so because armor warfare, it's fun if you're trashing on bots and getting a lot of XP. But after a while, it gets kind of boring and there are not that many weak spots on main battle tanks. So you have the cupola and that's pretty much it. Otherwise the side armor is crap unless you have applicant armor on the sides. But most main battle tanks have no side armor. So yeah, armor warfare is kind of a one trick pony. But in armor warfare, there's a special overmatching of the armor. So if you're just tall enough, you can shoot into the driver hatch of main battle tanks and you can just penetrate. So basically, if you play something with a lot of armor at the front, you just stalemate and you shoot at their driver hatch and you win. So that's the one trick pony. But yeah, vehicles like the Challenger 1 is easy to win. Basically win mode, easy mode. So there are vehicles like that in World of Tanks, but you still need to manage the weak spots like the T110E5's cupola. It still could be penetrated with gold shell. And vehicles like the IS-6, still weak spots with the cupola and the side armor and other stuff so there is some difference in the learning curve but in armor warfare it's practically sandbox mode so if you want to learn about the sandbox and how it shapes up play armor warfare that's pretty much it but eh, you're not missing out so i'm believing that armor warfare or not the armor warfare the sandbox mode is not going to be successful it's going to be the rubicon mode like last year it's going to fizzle out and die off because there's roughly like 100 players online right now like every any given moment there's only 100 players on the sandbox mode the forums are just splatter with rants and complaints and it's just a mess so i believe sandbox mode for world of tanks is basically armor warfare right now so if you're interested that's what it's like but there are vehicles for easy mode
but once you get super easy, once every vehicle has a lot of armor and it's mostly heavy tank meta, then it becomes a little bit boring, in my opinion, because everybody just plays main battle tank. Nobody plays tank to shore, nobody plays light tanks. You don't see FVM, uh, VFM, whatever that thing is called, Mark V, don't see a lot of stingrays. Nope, just main battle tanks and some armor fighting vehicles, and that's pretty much it. So, yeah, World of Tanks is kind of diverse, kind of, with the current, you know, weak spot system. Like, heavy tanks still have weak spots, and you still need to learn where to shoot. Whereas in Armor Warfare, the cupola doesn't do that much damage. Shooting the APS system or shooting the commander sights does nothing, does no damage. Just knock out those components, like knocking out periscopes. And the only weak spot for main battle tanks in Armor Warfare is the driver hatch, which you need to be a little bit higher than the actual opponent, and you need to have the armor to bounce their shots. So, yeah, the theory of, or the thesis of this video is I'm bored, <laughs> thought about a lot of stuff while taking a break from World of Tanks, and yeah, the sandbox is pretty much meh, so. Yeah, story comes full cycle, but as you can see with my T10 gameplay, I still need to side scrape, I still need to, you know, not underestimate these tier 7s because they could penetrate me, even though it's a tier 9 vehicle, so blah 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 blah. But Armor Warfare is fun, it's just one trick pony, so just play main battle tanks. Artillery is kind of in innovative with the uh, spotting system from artillery like the illumination rounds the smoke rounds and the counter battery system that's good but there's no alpha so you can't even kill anything yeah main battle tanks are like 3000 hit points you deal like 100 hit points per shot so <laughs> sandbox but yeah here you can see i am trying to carry this match with my t10 and still having a rough time because you still have to put in a lot of effort. When you're playing Armor Warfare, just play a vehicle with a lot of armor. Since the weak spots does not deal a lot of damage or no damage at all, it's generally mobile and they cannot penetrate you while you're penetrating them. So, yeah, Armor Warfare feels one trick pony ish, but that's basically the sandbox. So, yeah, that's the theory of this video or the thesis. But, yeah. I already know a lot of stuff about World of Tanks, so yeah, something new needs to happen, guys. Need something new. Like last year at this time was the Japanese heavy tanks, and everybody was freaking out because they have a lot of armor, just like insane amounts of armor at tier 6. No meta or no vehicle fits that niche at tier 6, so that was pretty good. But then came the Czechoslovakian medium tanks, and yeah, whatever. So it wasn't that big of an impact as with the Japanese heavies, so me. But here is a random match with my Challenger 1 in Armor Warfare, and you can just see how insanely OP if a vehicle has a lot of armor and just no counter to it exists in World of Tanks. So for example, if you have a T110 E5 with applicate space armor and the cupola does a third of the actual damage, then that vehicle is pretty much OP. So that's the heavy meta for you, but my god, this thing is amazing. It's the Challenger 1, but it has the Challenger 2's gun, the T30, the T30, the L30 A1, not the L11 A5. The L11 A5 is the Challenger 1's main gun, which is the stock gun on this vehicle. The upgraded gun is the Challenger 2's gun, Surprisingly, but this thing is so brutally OP just because the insane amounts of armor at the front even has applicate armor at the front upper glacis and lower glacis, which also has ERA covering it. So like three layers of armor. <laughs> insane. Yeah, this thing is basically easy mode if you want to play armor warfare. Just get this vehicle. You can win all the hard mode in armor warfare get all the loot crates or the loot boxes and just beat the game. So yeah, this thing is just like breeze shooting fish in a barrel. 
but by god this thing is amazing so you might think the chieftain is awesome or the t72 meh, whatever even the higher tiers like the leopard 2 a5 nope this doesn't even compare to the challenger one so just easily penetrate these chinese vehicles doesn't care it has two layers of armor additional armor at the front side armor is eras with applicate crazy shooting the cupola does a third of the damage merkava whatever merkava doesn't compare sure merkava it is well it is composite armor but there's no additional armor at the front and he it's a bot so bots doesn't know how to side scrape or point the front towards vehicles now surprisingly armor warfare bots are somewhat smart somewhat so if they cannot penetrate their opponent they will actually switch target onto somebody else so you see this quite often in challenger ones because they tired of shooting at you and they will shoot at somebody else that's a programming you know bonus so that's amazing but this vehicle is just testing bots all day long the bots will shoot at the lower plate they will shoot at the weak spots like the lower mostly the lower plate but they will not shoot at cupolas for some reason so it's not programmed into their system but they will flank around somewhat not that effectively but they will flank around and they will try to wiggle sometimes and shift back and forth to side scrape against you but not that much here you can see the actual weak spots about these main battle tanks like with the challenger 2 the leopard 2 a5 just shoot the driver hatch <laughs> the overmatching system in in this game is so easy just easily overmatch the driver hatch and shoot up to down it's a challenger 2 it has more armor than my vehicle yet nope shoot the engine block easily penetrates it has like 400 millimeter of penetration yeah so yeah armor warfare is basically world of tanks sandbox so if you want to play world of tanks sandbox play armor warfare but i highly recommend vehicles with a lot of armor because these vehicles are super easy so play the t110 e5 the is6 or you cannot get the is6 fine vehicles like what's a good op vehicle the kv1 the oi yep the matilda it's a medium tank but sure what else tier 7 is t29 tier 8 is t32 is fine but is6 mostly is3 is op also tier 9 is what's good at tier 9 the new m103 should be amazing and tier 10 is the t110 e5 is7 is pretty good but it's a little bit slow so you need to know how to shift a little bit well compared to the t110 e5 but yeah there you go folks easy mode for these vehicles or these games is the heavy tanks with a lot of armor some decent mobility and a good gun and that's pretty much it so don't play light tanks don't play medium tanks too strenuous too stressful and just play <laughs> these main battle tanks and heavy tanks and you should win so artillery is uh, it's new different style of playing but if you want to win the simplest is main battle tanks and heavy tanks so yep <laughs> leopards nope doesn't even care side armor overmatch system is just so easy in this game like 45 degree angle with 200 millimeters of side armor easily penetrates for some reason it's supposed to bounce nope Abrams, sure. Shoot the driver hatch. <laughs> yeah, you have depleted uranium armor, sure, whatever. Just shoot the driver hatch. Easily overmatch. So, yeah, armor warfare is one trick pony. The bot system is innovative or better than World of Tanks, but. And, yeah, the PvE mode, but it's just one trick pony. So, once you get used to it, it becomes a little bit boring. So, yeah. The same as with World of Tanks. Once you research everything, it becomes, you know, bland. But 
this is such a pretty vehicle. It's actually prettier than the Challenger 2 because the Challenger 2's turret is a little bit fatter. That's the only difference. <laughs> so, yeah, Challenger 1. God damn. I might replace the Abrams as my favorite tank since my childhood. So, the Abrams was my favorite tank. Or M1A1 Abram, not the A2, because I never heard about it. But this vehicle might replace that because how awesome it looks, how amazing it is. Just fucking spectacular. Take all the hits from the Terminator, doesn't care. Shoot his machine gun, a man turret, does less damage than average. Shoot the lower plate based on the T72's chassis. Yep. But there you go, folks. If you want to win, play vehicles with a lot of armor and you just show up. So, World of Tanks is a little bit more strenuous. So, you do need a little bit more skill and tactics with the heavy tanks. But it's generally the same. So, vehicles with a lot of armor is more OP than vehicles with a lot of firepower and no armor. So, the Grill 15 is that category of a lot of firepower but no armor so it's OP sometimes whereas this vehicle, vehicles with armor and decent gun and decent mobility is a little bit more OP because it's easier to pick up so yeah there you go folks hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of two double features but that's armor warfare for you so armor warfare is basically sandbox mode for world of tanks and if you want to get well, or get well, get better at the game, easy place to start is a lot of vehicles with armor. So, the T110 E5, the E4, uh, the Russian line, the German line, simple. But, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Far away from home On my own